Okay, so keeping range, that was yesterday's question, what we're going out with it today. Now, in the sport of combat sports, boxing, MMA, kickboxing, all that kind of good stuff, there's four ranges in boxing, or combat sports. There, the first range is up and close. Nobody sees? Yeah. First range is trapping. So, if we're this close, Caesar can elbow me, headbutt me, all that kind of good stuff. That's range one. Range two, punching range. Caesar can punch me, I can punch him. Man, look at this. Like, I'm, I think I'm probably like 180 and he's like 350. Look at this, holy shoot. Okay, so for range one, range one is trapping, headbutt, elbow, all that kind of stuff, boom. Range two is punching, bop, bop, bop. He can punch me, I can punch him. Range three is kicking. I can kick him, he can kick me. Yep, pow. Oh, that's good job. And then range four is out of range. I can't punch or kick him, he can't punch or kick me. So to find that range to get good at it is easier said than done. And we're gonna go over a drill with that right now. But ideally, the punching range, like if he makes a straight hand, like, like this is our punching range, okay? So I just need to stay in or out of that by a little bit if we're boxing, okay? And once again, it's the drill we're gonna go over right now, for example, is Caesar's gonna throw a jab cross. Boom. I, I back up now here, and now he's gonna step in with a jab. Boom, so he's back in range, okay? So I may be only out of range for like a half a second or second at most, but then he's back chest to chest with me. He can still punch on me so he doesn't lose that distance. And that's the drill we're gonna go with today is that. So let's go over this right now. So if you notice, both these guys are in, in uh, punching range, okay? That's range number two. And actually on this drill, the first guy starts, shoots a jab cross. And then the second guy steps in with the jab. So he still has to keep that same punching range. But as he steps back, he's getting his head out of range. So it's not center line. It's not in the line of fire. And he doesn't get punched. Now, after he slips that punch, if he wants to, he can come back with a punch. Or then he's still back in true boxing stance. So no harm, no foul. He's good to go with that. And if you see their feet... Their feet are basically shoulder width a little bit wider. Now, sometimes they're gonna be a little bit more narrow, sometimes they're gonna be a little bit wider, but in and of itself, their shoulder width, that's where you wanna be. The more, I guess, muscle you would say, the leaner muscle you have on you, it's going to pull you, so you'll need to have your feet a little bit wider than that. But in and of itself, you see, they stay in that boxing range, that range number two, the whole time they're doing this drill. Once again, Sammy's gonna start off with a jab cross, and then the second person's gonna jab as he steps in, Person number one needs to back up to keep that range. And also too, if you're if in, in MMA, if you're fighting a wrestler or a grappler, you don't want them anywhere close to you inside that, that punching range, that range number two, because then that's when the takedown's gonna happen, the body lock, all that bad stuff that can uh, make, your, make you have a long night, picking up what I'm saying. So you wanna keep that range at all time. Now, once you get to the designated spot, they're gonna turn around and now switch it. The first man's gonna throw the same thing, throw a jab cross, boom, boom. And now the second man's gonna throw a jab, but as he throws that jab, he's going to step in. So that's how that works. So there's a bunch of other drills we have, combinations we have for working the range and keeping the range. If you have questions about this, if you have comments, please let us know and uh, put another video together for you right now. But in and of itself, for right now, if you didn't know. Now you know.